Thank you for clicking this video. Welcome to my space. On today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you nine things you should start doing in your 20s and your 30s to guarantee you'll be successful no matter what. If this is something you think you would enjoy, sit back, relax, and let's have a good time absorbing these tips. My name is Stephanie and you're welcome to the Metro Gypsy platform. Number one, spend time with people who are not in their 20s or their 30s. Literally, spend time with people who are a bit older than you. You really don't learn as much spending time around people who are exactly where you are. You learn by surrounding yourself with people who are further along, people who have been where you have been, and people who have literally moved to the next level. For instance, if you're in your 20s, you should try and spend time with people who are maybe very mature, still in their 20s, maybe their late 20s, but then again, look up to people who are in their 30s, their 40s, their 50s. They are literally the ones who would answer the questions you're facing difficulties with, not people who are on your age level and who are actually struggling with what you're struggling with at this time. Number two, start working on your health. And when I say health, obviously I mean your physical health, your emotional health, and your mental health. It's like you, this is not something you postpone. Life would only get busier. And when you pay attention to these things, you're going to be able to perform at your peak. Most people will say, oh, when I get older, trust me, when you're in your 20s, the things you think are performing so magically, just cross 30, you see, you think, oh, I've had the best eyesight, I have the best dentition, I've never been to a dentist in my life. Trust me, once you cross your 30s, once you cross your 40s, you start seeing different kind of dilapidations in your body that you can't even believe. This goes with your mental health as well, your emotional health. As you grow older, your struggles, your the things you have to deal with, adulting becomes worse. So you definitely need to look after your mental health. You might think, oh my God, talking to a therapist is a long thing. Sitting down and thinking about why I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, it's not important. It is. Your struggles, the things you have to deal with, they become bigger and, would I say, worse as you grow older. So as early as possible, start paying attention to your mental health. If you know you're going through things, be truthful to yourself and seek help. That said, today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp in honor of the Mental Health Awareness Month, May. May is a month to raise awareness about mental health, fight stigma and provide support for anyone struggling with their mental health. This year's theme is Together for Mental Health, where we'll be sharing stories just to encourage people and advocate for the fact that mental health is really crucial and important. In the past, I know I've struggled with my mental health. <sighs> just thinking about it even just stresses me out, even if I'm no longer in those shoes. Being in the UK as an immigrant is not the easiest thing because the processes to get to get your indefinite and then citizenship really, really are not a walk in the park. So I remember um, uh, four-ish years ago when I was in the process of renewing my visa. First of all, the visa options are very, very limited. If you're not doing a sponsorship with marriage, every other thing is tough. You get a visa where you would have to work like a company and then no company is even willing to take you and you're going I was going through all this but I didn't even want to mention it to my parents I don't know if you understand the fact that when you're going through something and then you tell people you love you kind of carry the burden twice because you're thinking of how they are feeling with the fact that they know you're going through what you're going through you get so at that point I really really wish I had a service like better help just to pour my thoughts you know through to you know someone professional obviously I was doing this in a way of talking to my older friends and when it comes to some kind of situations if someone hasn't gone through you think they will really not know how you're feeling so they can only advise you to the best they can um, but with places like better help you literally find people who are if you want you know someone who's your religion someone who's your race someone who has gone through what you've gone through whatever specifications you want you would find it at a very affordable price so i really wish at that time um i had you know help like this thankfully it's all in the past now but there are obviously other challenges and different situations I still face in my life and I'll still face going on. I'm now really happy because I found a way to add therapy as a normal thing in my life. Another thing I really love about BetterHelp is the fact that they literally advocate for availability of mental health care. Let you just be like a hospital. Obviously, when you're ill, you're, like, it's not a big deal. I'm going to the hospital. So when you're mentally drained, mentally down, mentally struggling, 
look for a therapy and that's what better help can give you because it's literally going to be in your phone in your laptop in your home wherever and better help also offers customized online therapy that includes a video phone and even a live chat with your therapist so you don't really need to see anyone if you don't want to see them you can chat you can send voice notes you can make video calls if you want to see your therapist and then i'm sure you're talking oh therapy is for rich people therapy is for people that have money no compared to traditional online therapy better help is up there with affordability you can also apply for financial aid when you're signing up and they also accept hsa benefits so yeah give it a try and trust me you wouldn't regret signing up with better help there's a broad range of expertise they have a network of about 20,000 plus um therapists who can meet your needs so literally any kind of person you want you would find on better help both personally and geographically so the process of it obviously you get the app if you want to you can go straight to the website fill out your information to the t whatever it is you want as precise as possible you fill it out and they match it up with your therapist within 48 hours you're in your house you're not going anywhere just literally filling out what you want who you want to speak with and you're matched within two days maximum once you're matched you can schedule your secure messages or video chats you can also exchange unlimited messages with your therapist everything you share is strictly confidential <laughs> while signing up i was so excited with the fact that they had asked me if i wanted someone who was male or female if i was a religious person um i eventually said yes and i wanted someone who was christian just so that i don't know i just feel comfortable that they see me you know from really where i'm coming from and then even if you're not like really just you can also you know be spiritual so if you're spiritual you say yes or no just love how the form was just very precise about some things that i was considering as well also when i was trying to sign up i wanted to see if i could see people who were nigerian my tribe female you know things like that and 20,000 plus obviously you'll find people who are geographically close to you or you know just your tribe your race and stuff like that so i think that's a very very thoughtful thing you know with the better help people that just helps you feel at ease talking to someone differently talking chatting texting or whatever and then again okay let's say you've chosen a therapist and you don't like them or you're not feeling the conversation or you just think okay maybe i made a choice that this is interesting this sex maybe i should get another sex you can change it immediately quickly at no additional charge anytime you want you can change your therapist as i said at the beginning of this video this is the mental health month every day is mental health day but yeah we've chosen the month of may to you know advocate for mental health and make it as accessible as possible so if there's someone who you think would benefit from this your partner your friend your colleague just send them a link which you should see here make sure you use it make sure you share it with your friends as well just so that you get at least the most affordable price you can when you're starting off 10 percent of your first session i'm sure some of you have even gone therapy before give better help a try and trust me you would have testimonies <laughs> my third tip is to save and invest as much as you can i'm sure you might be thinking in oh, my 20s i'm still very young no this is the time to start that this video i'm going to put now it was by a billionaire who was interviewed and he just gave like the one tip for people who want to start investing in forex and stuff like that and this is what he said what is the best piece of advice you could get to give to anybody going into crypto today stick with bitcoin forget all the shit coins stick with bitcoin <laughs> buy a little bit every week i don't give us a dollar five dollars ten dollars a hundred dollars figure out what you can afford every week and buy it every week get rid of your cigarettes get rid of your cokes whatever you can get rid of and spend it on bitcoin 10 years if you buy some every week you'll be a millionaire besides that there are so many other ways to save if you're based in nigeria you can use piggy vest over here in the uk there is i'm going to put links um, on a blog post just so that you can see ways to invest save i know some people don't like saving because it seems like a very small process but if you can't save one pound from 10 pounds trust me when you get 10 million you can't even save one million so try and give yourself that culture and habits of saving and investing investing is actually the way forward because there's nothing like sleeping and money is you know multiplying there for you the fourth one is to get rid of friends who are taking you nowhere as early as 20 guys you should start looking around yourself 30 whatever you've taken them carried them into 10, another 10 years of your life start looking around and noticing is this person actually giving me things that are positive are they draining me are they just taking from me are they just negative influences 
get rid of them. At a certain point, it's important to realize where you are headed in life, how much time you want to continue investing in some kind of relationships. Do not have to be mean about it or stop talking to long time friends because I don't know, you've noticed some kind of nonsense, but just strategically remove yourself from the actions that do not add value to your life with these relationships. Number five, keep reading even when you're out of school. I know some people are so tired of education, like you've done primary school, secondary school, that's high school, uni, masters, or even, even did PhD, some of you did certifications. Yes, those were necessary, you know, for where you are right now. But keep reading, keep opening your mind to knowledge, keep exploring things, even the things that your younger, younger people are doing. Just you know just look at it understand things that you know people who are up there where you want to be understand when you stop reading you literally stop growing literally stop living so open your mind to you know just taking topics especially things that will you know guide you and raise you higher in your in the career path you have chosen or just general intelligence open your mind to read things there's this book i would always um suggest to people it's an amazing book because it helps you even as a leader it helps you even in your relationships with any single person so yeah that's it. how to make long friends and friends people something like that yeah you should try and read that book there are websites where you can learn a new skill try and explore those things in your 20s and your 30s so that they would be part of your habits for life or number six i would say find a form of workout that matches your life someone like me going to the gym is not even in my personality <laughs> if i would see i literally pay for a gym membership and in my mind as i'm making that payment like calories have left my body you get it. my mind i've done such a huge effort and for me to get up the discipline mm. but yeah sometimes in the morning i wake up i have a simple routine youtube is your friend go on there see a simple routine you can use work out stretch your bones keep yourself fit because health is wealth Number seven, do not let your hobbies die. We all have things we love to do purely for fun. I know sometimes when you're even doing these things, people are asking you, what are you getting from there? What's the money? How much are they paying you to do this? No, no, no. Do not let your hobbies die. Keep on enjoying them because these are the kind of things that refresh you. They make you feel happy. They make you feel rejuvenated to do the tasks that would actually bring you income or whatever. Some people, luckily, they turn their hobbies into what actually brings them money. Yeah, good for you. But you, your hobby, just keep doing it keep living it because it actually adds up to you know you feeling like a confident person you feeling like a well-rounded person number eight i'll say find a mentor find a mentor and just get rid of those short-term rewards of random knowledge i don't know you just being a vendor for whoever invest in talking to people who will add long-term value or make you do things that will add long-term value to your life the more you give up um short-term reward things the more you give time to invest in the things that would actually make you a leveled up human being. Nurture your relationships, especially the ones with your significant order or anybody who is just really important in your life. I know in one of the tips I said you should get rid of negative influences. So right now I'm talking about those influences who will just help you become a more confident person. There's some relationships you are in that it actually makes you understand yourself better what you really want from the world what you t can tolerate what you would not tolerate so nurture those relationships there are a lot of entrepreneurs especially who live by this sort of mentality even the ones who do not have relationship regularly deprioritize their partners that is really not good even their partners will say he's always at work he never has time your relationships are part of your well-being having someone to share some journeys with some unfortunately for some people it might not be one person and it might even be fortunately because really piling everything onto one person's shoulder might be too much but just it's just lovely when you have someone to share your life journey with they even help you monitor your progress, remind you of things you know you said you wanted to do, you wanted to achieve, and then vice versa as well. So you're not just using those people, you're also being an amazing and good friend. There's some fulfillment in that, and that would help you grow your confidence and level you up to where you want to be. So that's it with these tips. I hope you have um, taken some in at least. I'll keep on making sit down videos like this just to encourage you, encourage all of us. Obviously in the comment section, you drop yours as well. Don't forget for better help to use my discount to get 10%. Share 
this with your friends as well because therapy just helps you sort some side of your life just easily as i said better help is really affordable the links on everything i've said now will be in the description box make sure you register and registering so easy 48 hours you're matched with a therapist that is perfect for you if it's not perfect without any charge it will be changed thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed please do click the bell right beside the subscribe button as well and click the thumb up button because it helps youtube recommend my video drop a comment because i really love to read from you follow me on instagram where i share fashion lifestyle well-being and london content i'll see you on the next episode guys bye bye she filled my mind up with ideas I'm not as in the room